So now we are in a mosque, uh, which was made by the Seljuk Turks in the 13th century. They carved out this part, it's the volcanic ash. You can even see the marks of the tools on the walls that they used to carve this out. But this new part is added later on. You can see the difference easily between the stones. And every mosque has a niche on the wall like this, called as Mihrab. Mihrab is a direction to Mecca, where Islam started. So Imam, like the priest we can say in the mosque, he stands at the very front, facing to Mecca. And the other prayers stand behind him. They make it horizontal line from the left to right wall, all next to each other. Another group is like three feet behind and behind till last wall. Muslims, when they pray, first they are standing. Then they sit on the floor and put their head on the ground like bowl in front of God. Because of that, floor should be kept clean. That's why in the mosques you don't see any people with shoes on. That's why you see carpets on the floor because they put their head on the floor, it needs to be clean. But this mosque is a museum now, it's not functioning. That's why we are in with shoes and no carpets on the floor. And five times a day, this is repeated. You can pray in mosque, you can pray anywhere, it just needs to be a clean place. Uh, if you are busy in the day with your work, you don't have to do it at time, <laughs> you can do it afterwards, when you finish your job in the evening. And on the wall there is a niche here, you can see, they put a piece of wood here to place Quran, which was the holy book of Islam religion. And that darkness can be maybe because of the oil lamp, but we'll see better places where they put oil lamps in the next cave. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.